right, we're not going to watch all of draft. We're just going to get to mainly the gameplay. We'll see the order because they're on 13.3. Oh, Karyab is back on Nautilus. Wow, and he's super high prio. Hey, they're really a blind. Really a blind is kind of crazy, you know? Into a player like Zeus, I would never want to play a really a blind. I mean, there is a Jace ban, so it's a little bit more attractive, but Zeus Aurelia, holy f That's adorable. I just was watching the crowd. Is hold on. No, no time here. for the crowd. The owner is going to face check, and he is going to go down. Peanut's dead, one Peanut for one. One action here, T1. Seemingly winning this one with Karia leading the charge on the Nautilus. Wait, pass it very strong, but the light started. Wait, what? Oh, I actually didn't know that that's how it works. Okay, we learned, we learned, we learned about the anti tech. I didn't realize that you start with uh, max sacks upon game start and respawn, so you, so you can level Q at level one with Annie. Ah, I was wondering how he had stacks of Q. Towards top to ensure that Doran wasn't going to get dove. Here we go again. Ignite actually uses. Karia is getting a big chunk onto the light. He will Damn, go big. down as now pays on the Draven Tempo. trying to extend. Well, that was, I mean, they just lost bot 2v2 with the Draven. <laughs> like, it is what it is. Them, like, suddenly not being able to play because he's slightly late. Doran has flash. He should be able to live here. Ooh, he had a bad jump. That should have been his flash. Ooh, that's a bad flash. Bar here is like, oh, if I can get it off, that will feel amazing. And then here, really nicely done by Peanut. Yeah, it's, it, this is good. This is really solid. It's a good bait. Knowing that he's going to trade aggressively like that. That's big. Nice. Yeah, I mean, you, you'd rather flash the Aurelia stun because your flash is obviously way quicker than E. Oh my god, Pace got hooked here. I mean, this is just a weird time to get hooked. Okay. Peanut. It's well played by Zeus. Actually, I don't want to call him Zeus. I'm keeping on calling him Zeus for the rest of his life. Alright, I don't think this is diveable. He's way too tanky, bro. He's got a bramble. You can't dive this. And they thought better of it. Perfect. That's the thing about, about Zeus. Is like, when he's playing well, he just looks so mechanically clean for a top laner. I think that's why people consider him the best top in the world. Is just because, like, the optics of his gameplay. Like, when he when he executes something well, it looks so perfect for a top laner. Yeah, top laners generally don't have, like, as clean mechanics as an AD carry or a... Uh, mid or, or an ad carry like for example like 369 bro he can he can he can run it down it's just his mentality that carries him this is going to be a pretty tough fight for gen g they should lose this hardest it's actually a really criminal dragon that they went for oh pays cashed in though so it's worth that was a weird flash pays didn't actually flash the arrow there oh and he ends up dying for it if he had more hp and he flashed the arrow it would have been fine peanut is in complete no man's land what is peanut doing bro <laughs> like what Wait, just watch Peanut only in this fight. All right, we're watching Wukong only. Ready? All right, eyes on Peanut. Thank you. This is fine. Gets out of the spread. I like that. Gets an auto off. Bam! Auto. Boom. EQ. Not E auto Q. EQ. Okay. He stands in the bush. He's like, all right, all right, I'm out. Oh, hell no. I'm back in. Walks. Goes back into the... Oh! I'm not going to be able to take down Guma and owner as All they right. play very nicely. And Carrier is just going to be able to alley Okay. Okay. I don't know. When I when I was playing with all the, the players at Worlds, the player that I thought was the best, like the, the, the player that impressed me the most out of everyone that I played with was Chovy. I thought Chovy was like by far the best player just from playing with them and just feeling like their presence in the game, you know? Because it wasn't just like, I, th I knew Chovy was a mechanical beast, right? But just his awareness is actually next level. Like, I would get into like a 1v1 and he would just be like hovering me like right there. Like, I'm fighting here. He's right there. It's like, wait, how did you know that? Okay. Like, I mean, I played with a lot of the uh, LCK mid laners and LPL mid laners, and none of them had that amount of awareness. Okay, Peanut gets one back. I mean, he is Conqueror. He can probably he can probably scrap this out. I don't think Carrier can fight this. Can Carrier just fight this? I mean, they, like the only reason they're able to fight is because Victor's coming, but we have TP. Man, if he had his Q here, okay, good, 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 nice. Okay. Good good buffer from Carry. A really good buffer there. They can't kill. Chubby just kind of wasted his flash. I, I don't like this Victor build, man. I'm not a huge fan of this Victor build. The Roa Seraphs, like the tank Victor. I guess it's fine in this game. I mean, if there's a game to go at, this is probably a good one because the enemy team is relatively low damage. 
Charge up his Narbar up on that wave. Uh, well, now he's, mm, gonna, he's gonna go. Oh, he's, he's, he's not. He's mega. gonna go Mega. Got, like he got the ability to go Mega. Oh, well, good Varus ult from Guma. Yeah, Zayus is just unkillable. Who's gonna win this backline fight as the Draven is just shilling? Draven actually got a cash in here. I mean, it was one for two, or sorry, it was two for two. Three for two. What the f wait? When did Caria die? Wait, it was actually just one by Genji. Watch it again. I mean, they full commit on the Nar here, and he ends up going Mega. Also, this is a bad ult from Caria, no? Stays alive throughout all of it. You have the like Carrier should ulti Annie here because he gets the knockup anyway. Incredibly close attempt at hundred to zero in Goran here, but he does stay alive in the end. Does go up to Meganar and as a result is able to tank. Probably can't ulti Pays. Pays was in range. I mean, this is just really split. Like Guma and, and Faker are just spending time chasing Chovy instead of anyone walking forward and helping Zeus. I think if if Guma. Yeah, I think if Guma goes with Zeus here and they just and he just walks forward. I mean, honestly, I think if all of them just walk forward, they probably can win. Like Chovy has no cooldowns. I mean, maybe Faker goes up and Guma goes forward. Because I mean, uh, Zeus had another Q up, right? So like they had the ability here to go for um pays together. He has flash, but I mean, I think it's definitely better to help Zeus. I think Annie and Ivern can fit in the same team comp and competitive. I mean, it, they could in the, the correct situation, but both those champions are really susceptible to Merc treads. And okay, sending it on Faker. I like that. It's a good play from Delight. Oh my God, Doran just took the blast cone in or what? Holy bro. Wait, okay, wait. He takes the blast cone in? And then Dora just walks into Caria. What the f he flashed into them? Afterwards, the steel attempt not. Dude, what the f is Doran thinking here? Watch Doran. Watch Doran. Working as Baker is getting jumped on. He's oh my God! He's a mini Nar at fucking 700 HP. His whole team is killing Faker for free, and he flashes into them. Am I just losing my mind? Wait, why are people jerking this uh, this team off? Bro, if this was if this was LCS, this would be everywhere. Dude, that's going on on cracked at a fool. Dude, we gotta make that content. Cracked at a fool. Cracked at a fool. We gotta fucking make that. Shit. Okay, it's okay. He baited the whole enemy team to it. Are they? Is he really gonna try to steal this? I mean, this is kind of close, actually. As he's getting into nah, there's the no way he can steal it. Well. It's no way. It's no way. Oh my god, he can steal it. Hit the chaos storm. Wait, these need to these need to kill owner here. Wait, Peanut has spite. What is Peanut spite? As he's getting into the pit, the chaos storm is Well, the Oh, Peanut just has spite and he just doesn't use it. He just gets a uh, gapped. You got to be kidding me. They let the Setuani in the front door. As now Faker's probably not long for this world. With a Baron. Exactly how this will turn out, but oh boy, Guma just back. Oh, this is the Guma classic. Oh, but he doesn't die. Oh, oh, it's not the Guma classic. It's not the Guma classic. The Guma classic for a long time is getting caught on on mid wave in mid game, which is something that a lot of like players struggle with. Karzi does this. Crowny does this sometimes. Like getting caught on mid wave in mid game is something that he that he definitely has done in the past, and he's no flash here, but it, he's. He's playing smarter, bro. He's he's getting caught when his team is around him, which is not really getting caught, right? Like he's just he's in a position he's allowed to be in. Okay, Guma is showing growth. I like that. Oh, wait. So Zeus went um he went Divine Thunder as well. So he did the same build as Shanks. Now Genji has a really aggressive position here. Faker is just running into them, did not have vision of this. He's got a massive Timbers TP! Timbers! Big play. It's going to be very useful, and now Guma's in a lot of trouble as well. The Damn. Works out for Genji. Yeah, they just got they, they just got caught here pretty much. Nothing else to say. I wonder if Annie gets banned after this. So what happens here? 
from T1. Okay, let's see it. Both people are, are basing on bot lane. Chovy just got jumped on by Zeus, but he survives. Chovy is still on the run, and he will be able to get out. Flash expensive. He has no ult. Zeus, Zeus, Zeus has no ult as well. Chovy also crucially missing his stolen ultimate there. So it's not even remotely close. What happens? So Faker's trying to go for top wave here? Uh, I was checking the bush. Oh. Yeah, Faker just sent it. The Tibber CP is is solid here. I mean, to be honest, if you're TPing here, you'd rather just TP on the ward and not disable Tibbers, but it's very minor. It doesn't actually make a difference. It's going to be very useful, and now Guma's in a lot of trouble as well. Well, Faker just ran it down. Unlucky. Dude, I don't know. I'm still a hater of this Victor build. I really don't like the Roa Seraphs. I'm, I'm a... I'm a enjoyer of having some ability haste on this champion. Like, wouldn't this just be a Leandre's game? Playing against like three people with decent amounts of health. Even the um, the Annie will have a decent amount of health. A massive step forward now in this game. Not looking as balanced as it was. They have to kind of run into you. That might have been the breaking point of this game. Fell. That's is Peanut gonna die? Hey, Zeus is no uh flash. He should just be dead here. Zeus is just going in on this one as Peanut with a... Does no one die? Just let Doran do his thing? No one die? Oh my god, we don't have to use stopwatch here, do we? Baker just sent it. I mean, he, he kind of got baited by his E. Because he E'd the bush, so he thought there was one person in the bush, or the Annie was just right over, but this was uh obviously not good. Okay, and then what happens? Figure gets caught on side lane. Of damage coming in from the stolen chaos storm. Faker is incredibly tanky. I keep saying that, but mm, Chubby played a lot better than Faker so this game. Is Zeus overrated. This guy doesn't look that good. Kind of walking a tight um, he's he's game. overrated, but that's because any player who's like top three in the world in their position and plays on T1 will always be overrated. Like he's not unbeatable. He definitely is like he has flaws as a player, but he's like he's extremely good like you can be the best and you can still be overrated i mean the best player on t1 the player that like really seems the best on t1 to me is carrier there's no one else on the team that i'm like god damn this guy is good besides for carrier carrier is the one that to me is he he's really that guy like he's by far the best player on the team insanely massive right but it seems like they don't want to give this way and like i said you give them 15 seconds this baron is going to go down as it should be taken here okay another Okay, Peanut's not even going for it. Okay, let's see. Uh, is this the angle? I mean, he got okay. It's good. We got to watch this fight again. This is one we have to watch again. Okay, let's see. I thought in this situation, I thought Peanut was going to look for potential steal, but he just didn't. He didn't go for it. He just, he eed there. What the Is he his W here? I thought, okay, so they're just playing for fight only. So their decision is play for fight only. I don't hate them playing for fight only. This is fine to play for fight only. I think eing the Nautilus is weird. Like, if you wanted to play for fight only, I think you just W forward here and you go on both carries as Peanut. This Baron is gonna go down as it the Draven ult is super early. Like, it's just at the beginning of the fight to try to chunk them. But, I mean, if they wanted to make this play, it should be Wukong ult on these two into um, Draven ult, chunk them. Because we're kind of just hitting the Nautilus here that has a stopwatch. Chovy goes and he takes Nautilus ult and he tosses on to Guma, though. It's big. And then Peanut gets onto him as well. Actually, what the f kills him? Hold on. He gets hit, killed by Chovy here? Yeah, he gets killed by Q2 from Chovy or knocked into his GA at least. I mean, Aurelia is just not a champion at this point in the game. So I think they made the right decision playing for fight. I think that they could have just done it better though. Okay, Chovy. As he should be taken out eventually, as even the boomerang to slow him down. Chovy will take him, and Zeus is the only one left. He's trying to stop this midway, but it doesn't matter. They're just gonna push in top. Not going to be enough. Alright, that's game one. It's game one. Well played from Genji. I just think that there was times I hit the wrong button, but I think that there was times where they could play a little bit better. Obviously, Dorian, I think, had a pretty bad game overall. Like he had deaths in late phase that he shouldn't have had, and then in team fights, like he where it's hit and miss. But overall, it's a good game from Genji. I think that this combo is really broken. I don't think many people are going to be giving this combo. Uh, Wukong, Annie. This was an old school combo, bro. This was a super old school combo. Look, all I'm saying is, hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me do some research right here. Uh, game four, curse versus... Who was it? Cog. All I'm saying is T1, I think in this draft, 
they were inspired by the old I Will Dominate here. The season four I Will Dominate playing the uh, Annie Wukong. I'm pretty sure that they, they, they before this game in preparation, they, they were watching relegations from season four when I had came, came back from being banned and they have the uh, Wukong Annie combo here. They saw it locked in. So it's existed for a while, you know. They obviously were trying to learn from the best and they executed it well here. Well played, Genji. So first pick, let's see draft order. So first pick was the Varus. So Varus still really high prio. Um, Annie has banned this game from T1. So T1 actually dropped the Annie ban because Delight kind of smurfed with it in game number one. We've got the Lulu Zeri. Okay, Chovy is playing. Um, Victor, did Victor come in as... Wait, hold on. Victor came in as four pick. Wait, am I seeing this correct? Yeah, so Victor came in as four pick. Oh, it's Vera support with the Callista. So the Vera support is used as a enchanter counter. It's what Caria always does. So that makes sense. Yeah, I, I would never want to be playing Renekton versus Zeus Jace though. Zeus Jace, one of the best Jace tops in the world. Oh, Carry is playing the um the support Callista. Oh, so they went support Callista here. Oh my God, the ward doesn't see him. That's that's so sad for Chovy. That's something that's so easy to um to fix. Slightly different ward placement. You can see the Raptors and you can see him. It's actually the bot lane that's gonna get off this because the wave is stacking and they think that that. Well, actually, I mean they they could at least could be there anyway technically. In a lot of trouble. He did Faker is just dead. Does Peter really need to flash out there? I mean, I would have at least tanked one more. <laughs> and he's going to base anyway, so I would have just, I would have judged it differently. But I guess he thinks the least might be there, so he doesn't want to risk it. I guess it's fine. Here comes the TP, though, and the cocoon okay. lands, but it's immediately cleansed. That sucks for Chovy, bro. Having the TP bot here kind of sucks. Because what you really want to do when you play versus Cassidy, when Cassidy like flashes like this and you dive him, what you really want to do is you then want to freeze it. You want to have Cassidy TP back. You just freeze it right in front of your turret. He's melee, no flash. He has to walk up and then you just run people on him. Yeah, Chovy tanking is correct. You have the range person because he can tank on the outside of the turret. Yeah, Pina probably would have had to flash anyway, honestly. Oh, that's a fine flash from him. Owner has to be here. Okay, Caria? Okay. Flash for heal. It's not bad. It's not bad tr trading your flash for heal when you're playing a lane like this because he might not be able to catch the turret now. Oh, they re he really wants yeah. to get Yeah, because now, like, Pace can't walk to the turret, like so it's actually a pretty good flash trade. Go oh my god, they both died. Okay, this game's lost. Goes through the two of them, T1. Will I like those types of plays from Caria. It's really good to just be aware of the fact that your flash for heal and just that chunk changes the situation under the turret. Because if he doesn't flash there, right? And they try to dive this again, and Pays has like 400 HP or 300 HP, plus he has a heal. This dive won't work 3v3, like as easily. They could still maybe do it, but Karius Flash is like not going to be close to as useful as heal and HP. They should 100% give this to Kassadin every time, by the way. This like, don't, don't, don't f***ing rend that sh <laughs> You motherfucker, Karia. You absolute mother You're rending that when you have a Kassadin coming? To just get a free kill and you rendered it in front of him? You're lucky you're so good. You're lucky you're so good. Personally, if I was Faker, I wouldn't allow that. Take it slowly, but here is the follow up. They reset the aggro, they're going in onto the light, and they will be able to burst him down the aggro. Yeah, it's definitely a good it's a good play. It felt like it felt like owner didn't want to do it at a point, and then like Goomer and Carrie were like, hey, we're still diving by the way, boys. Alright. This game is kinda over. We might start skipping through this one and mainly focus on the next game because T1, I mean, they just, they drafted Elise, they played around bot, they dove on the right timings. Game should be over. I mean, just for Omnivamp, like, I mean, Gorge, you're like, you're buying a mythic item just for Omnivamp. I just don't know if it matters that much. It's like, please, I beg of you. I mean, please let me farm. 
Baker's coming in here as oh oh. Oh, Otters is dead. The repel, that's a free kill over to Gen G. As now the they still have no Callisto out here. Very far ahead, they will try to force this. Peanut is uh, yeah, on a mission. He's gonna get wild growth up though. As look at the damage from Baker's looking for an angle. Okay, Guma's dead. Oh, maybe he's not. No, he's dead. And all of a sudden, Wait. We might have ourselves a game. Can't Chovy and, and Pays like and walk towards them here? Wait, hold on. So, it seems weird that they just go straight for the wave because this is 4v2. It's literally a 4v2 right now. I mean, Faker has no flash. He's a level 10 casted and he's not even that strong. Down. And all of a sudden, we might have ourselves a game. Okay, whatever. A hammer guy. They, uh. they know there's two. Yeah, they should know that it's AS2, but they have Delight coming on in, and the wild growth might be enough. Polly. He's going to go for the Polymorph as... Just okay, this is where Zeus smurfs on them with the Gore Drinker. He's unkillable! Look at the Gore Drinker! The Gore Drinker value! Holy! It's time. Alright, this is a f***ing wrap, is it not? Obviously a lot of poke in this composition. As P not and Doran, will they beat themselves in again? The answer is absolutely Yeah, it's it's a wrap. Alright, let, let's let's skip the end to the end of this. They are getting zapped, right? So P not looking to draw in a lot of attention and potentially be Which LCS games are worth watching? On the forefront, now the wild growth, uh TLC9. So That's for sure. Carry uh, I would watch the uh, probably watch one of the Hundred Thieves games at least. FlyQuest TSM, you can see FlyQuest lose their only match of the season. Um, Golden Guardians versus... I mean, Golden Guardians matches overall I thought were pretty interesting. Everything except LDL, yeah, true. Everything except for LDL. Well, pretty much I'm only watching this. I'm watching no ERLs at this point. Watching just LCK instead. Oh my god, the redacted exploded. Jesus. Is doing immense amount of damage here. So Peanut's gonna go down. He's gonna be chased through the jungle. No hope for him. That kill will be fit. And Baker's not even Siege with the Baron. Just gonna laugh okay, we're sieging, we're sieging, we're sieging. This time around. So the chase is on okay, the Guma he snipes out Peanut. Peanut holding his flash for game three. Okay, here we go. Game three. Ooh, wow. That is a early victor pick, no? Okay, so Ash is first picked. Varus taken. Annie is denied because Delight played it in game number one. It's probably just going to be Ash support um, here. I don't think they would do Ash with Annie. That doesn't sound like the best. So it's not even that much of a deny. It's mainly just pick because it's strong. Okay, and then we have the Wukong coming in. Wukong obviously good versus double AD. And three range champions are all susceptible to Wukong all immobile. Cassidy and Band from Chovy. I really don't like the Kassadin ban here. I know Fager just played a good Kassadin game right before it, but overall, if they're running like Wukong, like let's say you have Pushing Bot here, you're gonna have Pushing Bot, and then you have a Pushing Mid, and then they run a Kassadin as well, like you should be able to leverage this into a winning situation for yourself. Nar on four for Zeus, not afraid of any of like Doran's potential counters. I mean, Jace is banned, so that's one of the counters to Nar. Some people like playing Camille, but that's banned as well. Um, Jax is still up. But Doran Jax, probably not the best. Okay, he's pl he's playing it. Okay, Doran Jax, dude. The fact that I've watched a little bit of this game, and I don't even remember Doran playing Jax. Like, so late game, I watched a little bit right when I woke up. I, I was in bed. I like turned on my phone. I'm like, what the f is happening in Gen GT one? And I watched the end of this game, and I don't even remember there being a Jax in the game. So I think that says something about how the Jax probably looked here. And yeah, Peanut on the Poppy. This is a bad Poppy angle. It's literally only good into Wukong. The rest of the champions don't really care at all. This is a very bad poppy angle. I don't like it at all. And then Carrie is playing the Jin support to match the Ash. And then we have Annie mid from Faker. He's playing the broken Annie mid. I mean, he doesn't hit level three off this. Peanut does not hit level three off this. Peanut is kind of just inting now. All right. Well, he just completely ruined all of his tempo. And now owners level uh, three. Is looking for it and so the light no flash. Ooh, I think he could have killed him here. I'm gonna I'm gonna look again. I'm pretty sure owner can kill Delight here. He has a uh, he has his Q on and he has the extra range and Delight is no flash no heal. As well, super squishy at this point and Baker. Yeah, he can just keep on walking at Delight. He actually kills Delight here. 
forward and so is the light is dead on my screen poppy has e but if poppy goes in he's probably dead. actually with red buff and q it's probably not going to kill immediately but faker's coming and has flash so if, if peanut stuns him and tries to phase rush out P faker probably just kills peanut i'm pretty sure owner should just keep on clicking Owner's forward here I don't see why why owner clicks back. No, I know he has no vision, but he can walk into the bush and then Q. His Q's not gonna expire. Getting the KOS, yeah. You can see the moment where Doran's like. Ooh, Zeus kind of missed spaces here. Right here. It's like no, and then. Oh, he didn't get the auto. He could actually get that auto. Uh he he griefed it. He griefed it. Yeah, this is where we he probably does he level up there if like, he gets the kill no. and then based off minions if he gets that auto through he gets triumph and a level up uh, tries to he might live bro he literally might live oh that's unfortunate he needed to just be like spamming so his right click as he queued and yeah, this is where we see the power of this early combo uh, ash makes it basically impossible to ever get out of the situation good sidestep from pays there as well and the flourish from carrier unable is he to cancel the play yeah that's really the thing if Jin doesn't have flourish there is no root. weird <laughs> right before level weird six, so Annie coming back it's not really weird the champion line. got super and buffed anytime that a champion gets buffed a lot like, a like, like they could buff side. anything and it would be meta in pro play there's no, Yumi, you know. there's no champion with a kit bad enough so that if it received if he, uh, if he massive the buffs the buffs it wouldn't be playable free to do whatever you want and early drake going over very helpful we again are getting some of our what are we talking about in chat what the Drake's fuck the way. so uh, surely now it will just be chem tech yeah am i gonna post this uh bot review to youtube i did it like in between lpl series so probably not uh, healing or shielding on either of our supports unless i really want to clickbait the fuck out of it only makes <laughs> faker played what 74th unique champion Okay, he's just trying to kill him, and he nearly dies himself. That is a uh, oh, sack. that is a uh, T1's bot lane winning. Faker's here. here. All right. Oh. I mean, Pays is here we go. dead as f on my screen. Here. Can he stop them, though? You can literally just send your uh, tibbers over <laughs> here, here on Ash. Yeah, that's correct. Hello. You can send your tibbers on Ash here, and then you just oh, look for Pays after. As that is going to be a lot of damage already on the JT Good. Bot Game should end two. right here. Peanut is just like, well, I gotta try to do something, right? But Carrier baits him in. And that is I mean, part of the Annie, so like the Annie is definitely not a great pick into Victor, but part of the Annie pick is being able to counter bot lane, right? You pick the Annie early, and then you get to see their entire bot lane, and you can get a counter pick on five that's supposed to be really good for the game. Good, good, uh, good proc on the blast cone there. Oh my god, bro, Jesus. <laughs> Dory, you can just wait for him to flash, brother. <laughs> wait, look at when Doran flashes. He's like, oh! <laughs> like, I'm here! Dude, just let him flash first. I don't want to see him cook, bro. Please just go Leandre's Chovy. <laughs> Stacking books to read, dude, old age. But Chovy's not even old. Uh oh, Faker? Wait, this is one we want to fly. Oh, and it went to the Draven. That's so bad for them. Of all people. Oh man, that's a big mistake by Faker. You gotta flash these, bro. This is definitely a flash. Also, Poppy just got his head taken off. Peanut got his head taken off behind Drake while that was happening. He doesn't go clips this game. Is he building then? Okay, the huge burst though on to hey, they go on to Peanut. I mean, Andy dies for it. This is honestly okay for Gen G. The hell out of there. I mean, you'd assume that Gen G is like completely fine scaling in this game. No, they have Victor, they have Jax, they have Draven. Like, Draven doesn't scale the best, but they have like, they have an okay team comp. Where enemy team, the only champion that really scales is Varus and then like kind of Nar. But you're definitely more happy scaling with Gen G. But Given this game state, I would say that Genji's ahead. For the Genji bottom lane to play the game, because unless you can match flashes, any okay. from T1 kills you. Oh, oh that was clean as. Okay, Peanut. All right. Both of them, bro. Because unless you can match flashes, any form of. Man, Peanut made a really good play, because this arrow was gonna miss. Kills you. Uh,
Do I have to praise Peanut? God damn it, man. All right, well played, Peanut. That was really nice. I hope you in later. I hope you can run it down later so I can flame you. So clean. By the chaos storm doesn't matter. Owner is able to get the job done. Mm, Dorian just TP'd in and just in lost his entire HP bar for zero. But he's playing Jax, baby. They're playing towards Baron here, but I really feel like T1 should just be like on right side. I don't think Faker should be going top side at all. He pink wards here just in case they go Baron when they go Drake. Oh, Zeus is just dead. Ooh, this is a not a good time. Oh my god, and he had to TP in because Zeus was way too far up. This is just weird from from T1. Zeus kind of like ruined this macro play. Because obviously T1 want to be taking this fight on the Drake that's spawning in like 10 seconds. So, I mean, there's no reason for Zeus to be this pushed up. They should just be controlling this area. Drake is up in 30 or something. See Faker's ult when he comes in. Okay, he stuns the Jax. This doesn't matter. He just gets killed anyway. In the front line, though, he's got owner. As they do come in from the jungle, but the flash is pretty hopeful from Faker. Ah, uh, Zeus. Really, really team. unfortunate. T1 has everything in their control here. They have Drake spawning. They have control. They have the Annie who has flash with a red sweeper. So when you're walking in, you have to be super scared. Like if Draven missed positions, if Ash missed positions, they're just completely one shot and it's a 4v5. I don't even think pays with his build. Depending on his BT shield, he's probably getting one shot even by this type of Annie. Also, if you have Wukong hiding, you can just leverage your vision so hard here. But Zeus gets caught bot side. So they end up like TPing to try to save him. LEC has mistakes. Decent pick. Decent pick. And now Pays is getting run down. He's all alone. Trying to trade it back. I like seeing that kiting. Ah, oh, man. Peanut just got caught. If he wants penetration oh. so far, and he's the only AP source on his team, so... Bro, you got a flash earlier than that, Peanut. Come on, bro. Pays is getting run down. He's all alone. Trying to trade it back. That's two free kills and maybe a bit more. As we do have the Cyclone into this back line. Mm, owner went too far. By himself. He's got a stopwatch, though. And he I mean, he wastes the stopwatch. I mean, if he's close to the GA, then I guess the it doesn't matter. For T1. It's probably T1's Baron, then. What would you change? I'm not saying I would change anything on T1. On I'm just saying that they don't have roster changes, so, the they, like, the consistency is so going to be there. The hit the clone. That no Poppy, Poppy ult was sent. I don't know T1. where he As sent it. Also, Pays, bro. You're telling me? Just look, look at look at how many times Pays... Like, Pays... Is just opening up. He's not even getting a rapid fire proc. This guy is in his range. Imagine if he had an LDR here. Like he just auto that guy four times and did maybe or what five times and did forty percent of his health. Come on. Dude, look at that. That's a crit. That's a crit. Look at the crit. That's a 267 damage crit. Build LDR, please, man. This rapid fire is just so fake. Like you're, you, okay, so now he's going LDR, and then he's going to have to what? He's going to have to sell his rapid fire for a mythic? Or are we just going no mythic? <laughs> you can't put a value on range. True. It's infinitely valuable. Hey, Peanut. Yeah, just Old Doran's you know, like, going on owner oh, here. Faker okay, big. Oops, Good angle. Faker didn't flash. Faker griefed it. Rubble, oh my god, Doran, okay. All right, let's see it, Peanut. Oh my god, Doran just queued forward anyway. Jesus, Doran. Relax, my man. Should be a free... Should be a free Baron here. As the chase is on. Zeus trying to buy as much time as possible. Uh, pays mispositioned. He should not, not be getting thrown oh, here. Trying to turn it around, but GA oh. is popped. And down will go the Wukong eventually. You'd have yeah, to it's Baron for Genji. And, and then they should be able to leverage the Baron into Soul. Baker, bro, got to flash those. I know he doesn't want to flash because what? Annie is so much better with flash, but again. you actually just lose Baron if you don't flash here. Nope. All right, we so here is Mountain Soul. Megadar which Genji would already gone. have if they just didn't go for that Baron. You know, Genji will have the advantage here. As there we go, Ooh, Faker got hit by the... Gone. 
Wow. T1 just had to give it. It looks so hard for T1 to win. It should be impossible for them to win. <laughs> Never mind. I'm no <laughs> volume on headset. Oops. <laughs> okay. True. I'm lucky. Pretty much it's gotta be on her. Oh no. Here we go. Wait. Is caught and down he will go. What the f wait, what does he do? Out of the way for wait, he's on vision because he clears one ward. And look this at team's team walking a mid lane. Uh, who actually has a way of getting out of the way for an arrow? Oh uh, hell no, Pina, what the f dude, you gotta make it less obvious than this. I know Faker's your boy and everything. Owner, and that's pretty much it. Pretty much but come on, go. bro. Here like, come on. Down he will go. The jungler of Gen G is out of the game. Wait, why What's are we TPing? Why are we TPing there? That's a weird place to TP. Like, we're TPing on midwave. Oh my god, Chovy Flash? What the f and here comes Oh no, Chovy's Flash. Gonna... Alright, look at look at his flash. Look at where Chovy flashes. Flash directly into their whole team. Ah, oh, hell no. Nah. This was disgusting. Even more. <laughs> oh no, my god. Totally That's not. like the only way they could lose from this point. Also, what Guma do? Let's watch Guma in the back line. Comes honor, of Gen Let's watch how Guma plays this. The game. It keeps happening. Yes, and Flash. What the f he flashes into the Oh my god, what happened here? What happened to everyone, bro? This game was like pretty good. This was a pretty good game. Look at all the flashes. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, so Peanut runs it the f down. He just intentionally feeds. He says, oh, f you guys. Make me play Poppy again. Make me play Poppy again. First, no dashes. I'll show you. I'll show you what happens if we play Poppy again. Okay, cool. Runs it down. That's number one. That's number one. The jungler of then Chovy walks up, tries to chunk them out, tries to one-shot carry it, doesn't do it, okay. This is all fine. TP's a little sus. TP's a little He's sus. You probably it. want to TP here. I don't think you want to TP over here because your team's getting chased. And, here comes and then Guma flashes into the TP. Honor, they're gonna get and then Chovy flashes into the NAR. Oh my god. God damn, bro. Ooh, this fight was crazy. Even more Wait, this. Kelly, did you wake up to me screaming about LCK? Says Toby, not sure about that one. As in he goes, down he will go, and Pays is just gonna get sniped by the Jin. That might just do it, guys. Does that end the game? I don't know. Gen G are looking for some kind of escape. Does that end the game? What's happening again? Teleport wards. What's gonna happen? Here comes Doran trying to front line for his ass. Wait, just chill, Doran. Wait, we sent it way too early, no? How is this happening again? Teleport wards. What's gonna happen? Here comes Doran trying to front line for his ass, and he's surviving quite a long time. The Zonyas is buying time. And he oh, we missed. Out. Faker missed his ult on on the <laughs> on the Zonyas. The timing of it. They end anyway. Damn, it's just over. As they gotta click on the Nexus as uh, Timbers Dude, that's just... such a sad ending to this series. The series was like pretty fing good. The series was like it was a fun series, and then that's like just the most absolute eyesore ending you could have. But um Yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. This team still stomped. LPL best team. Yes. Good. Good one. <laughs>